Rated M for Mature. Best way to escape a problem is to solve it. The Riddick universe is close to the way we live right now. It's machinery, not energy effects and all these fancy things. It's none of the glam of the space and the future. It's just the underbelly. We try to create a fresh blend that's part of our experience as artists ourselves. And part of it is the Riddick universe, and we try to build on that. We're all very dedicated to quality, so there are a lot of iterations and pretty much any asset you see in the game. The look of the Dark Athena started with the idea of being inside the belly of a deep sea creature. We tried to create our textures and all our surroundings based on, on that and try to put that into as many elements of the game as possible so you can see it in the, the armor of the characters that you encounter, the nanomed the health system that we have, also the main antagonist, Rebus. We designed her to be as fierce and as believable as possible. Good man once. But not anymore. It's all about the contrast between light and shadow, machine-like creatures versus human-like creatures. Everything plays off the idea that this should be a terrible place to be in and you want to get out. Reaching the next level of visual quality, it's always a million different factors that, and you have to improve on all of them. For example, all the tools that we develop for cinematics and stuff are crossing over into gameplay. And things like depth of field, not just having it, but actually controlling it properly, adds a lot to making it look a bit more cinematic. There are a lot of layers of what's going on with color correction, with grain. We use stencil light and then we compensate that a little bit with glow and other things to smooth things out. But the end result is something that's very different from any of these parts. How long have you been here? We have a really strong cast. Vin Diesel, of course, Exhibit. Uh, Michelle Forbes is there. We have Lance Henriksen. Riddick, get in there ASAP and I'll lock the door for you. Morgan Shepard, Ron Perlman. You've got a hearing problem. And we really feel that they bring something special to the game. So we've developed this method that we call vocap, which is the simultaneous capture of facial animation, body and the voice. You're in no position to negotiate. It allows us to capture the whole performance. You'll have not only one of the most lifelike representations of a performance within a game, you'll also have the exact same performance that the actor delivered. Talk to me. This time we're really taking it to the limit with both voice acting and the overall music. Just walking around, listening to the inmates screaming, the soundscape really creates tension for the game. You can essentially just stand around listening to it and go like, whoa, this is a scary place. The monsters, catch me. Just start the game and listen to Vin Diesel's voiceover. Now the monsters have something to fear. So that is something really special, that voice. And his narrative carries the whole first-person experience forward. You really know what you're gonna do. You really are motivated. When his voice came in there, it felt like, yeah, this is it. I'm either doing or I'm not. When we release this game now, it's going to be the by far most polished game we ever made. <laughs>